Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, we will talk about isset function of PHP. Guys, isset function of PHP is used to check that the whether the uh, variable is set or not. So firstly, we will create uh, make some PHP tags, opening and closing PHP tags. And I will make a variable and I will give it a name of v1. And I will give it a value like Rishabh Kapoor. Now we will check that the whether the value variable is set or not. So in this uh, here you can see the variable is set. So we will write if is set and then to brackets and in between these two brackets we will write the name of this variable which we want to check. V1 then to curly brackets and we will write if uh, condition here means if the value is uh, if the condition is true then we will write value is set. else echo value is not set guys this is set function is very uh, is so much used with super uh, globals like uh, php get and post method which i will teach you in next tutorial means i will show you that how can you use its set function with php get and post methods so i will go to browser and refresh it you will see value is set Suppose if I create a new variable, uh, suppose I am checking v2 here, but here is no v2 variable here, means the value is v2 variable is not set, so it will return values not set. Means in this way you can use the isset function. So in the next video, I will show you that how can you use this isset function with uh, PHP get and post methods. Means if you want to access the data, uh, form data on the same page, you can use, you, you can do this with the help of isset function. So guys, if you still have any question, you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below. So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see in the next video.